Hey guys, it's Tiff. Hope you're doing well. And today is Sunday, the 28th, 5th, 27th, 27th. Um, I have my DNC on Friday. Um, it was successful. Everything was fine. Um, went to the hospital, got there at 10. Did some pre-op stuff, and then got taken um, taken back at like 12, like a little bit after 12. And um, everything was okay. Um, I did get a little sad and nervous, of course. Um, and it was nice that uh, I was able to have someone there just to kind of like distract me and hang out with me. Um... And that, just, like, not having to do that process by myself, um, honestly, as far as, like, surgeries and procedures goes, it's probably the easiest one that I've ever done, um, physically. Um, the whole thing lasted, like, I don't know, less than half an hour, probably closer to 20 minutes, and I got back in the recovery room. That was a little bit scary, so, um, I woke up, I think I probably woke up a little bit too early, and they hadn't administered any, like, pain medicines or anything. And I woke up, like, white-knuckled, um, crying. And part of it was emotional, but I think most of it in that moment was pain. Um, I was experiencing a lot of pain to the point where it took my breath away and I was getting, you know, not, <laughs> the doctor thought I had a rash. Um, and I said, no, I, I get like that when I'm in pain. You know, my neck will get all red and blotchy and it kind of goes up my face if I'm stressed or upset or in pain. So, um, I got some pain medicine and it went away so fast. Um, I'd say within definitely 10 minutes of being out and them giving me the medicine, I was feeling better. And since then I've had no pain, um, really, like, I would say maybe... I can't even call them cramps, honestly. I'll have, like, a little weird twinge here and there. Um, but it lasts for, like, half a second and then goes away. Uh, don't mind this in the background. <laughs> um, we had, long story short, the radiator sprayed everywhere. And um, it has left raindrop marks, essentially, all over my room. <laughs> so, um, and I can't clean it because of the type of paint. This is um, particle board... Um, what is it called? Like, paneling. And I can't, I can't clean it off of it, so, uh, sorry about that. Um, but after the, the procedure, I was, I was discharged within like half an hour. Um, I had bled probably until 11 or 12 that night, off and on, like, n barely, I've been dealing with worse during this process. <laughs> um, the first pad was, a, it was a little heavy. Um, and then the second and third ones were totally fine. Um, I'm nowhere near that, like, filling up a pad period. Nonetheless, a pad an hour, which is what you have to be concerned about. Um, they said limit all my activities, so no tampons, no sex, no um, bathtubs um, for a week until I'm seen. And then he'll let me know what what everything, like, what I have to still maintain not doing, um, and that's on Thursday, and physically, I actually feel great yesterday, I had no pro, like, I feel guilty for not feeling bad physically, like, um, like, I'm just, boom, okay, it's done, it's over with, like, it's like it's never happened, and back to normal I go, and I know that's weird, and I should, I sh I'm so grateful that I'm not having complications or anything, but I was prepared for, like, not feeling well, having a weekend of, like, dealing with it, and, and like, processing it, and being like, okay, and <laughs> after, yeah, after Friday, I felt literally totally fine yesterday, I had no problems, um, I didn't even have to wear a pad today. I don't have to wear anything. Um, yeah, so as far as, like, physical recovery, I'm doing, like, amazingly. God, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Um, and, of course, the surgery was successful, so they say they, you know, it nothing out of the ordinary. 
nothing like punctured or ruptured or anything like they got in there and they were like oh my god no totally normal totally what they expected and um the small amount of time that we were in the procedure room just goes to show like everything went to plan um so one thing that was kind of not off-putting um but you get rolled into the room and um it's cold no big deal and you have a, a gown on nothing no bra no underwear nothing um they put you in some socks and they have a sheet over you again no problem and they tell you to go from one bed to the other and it i don't know what i was expecting but like the table has a um a large hole where you put your um like you put your butt the end of your butt right on the cusp of it and there is a receptacle underneath of the um the hole and i mean obviously by process of deduction you can you know that you're essentially putting your um vagina over the the bowl so or the the trash can essentially so it can catch all of the um contents that come out and that was like a little shocking um I know that they use vacuum and the scraping method and it's probably just like that's just how it goes but knowing that that's why that was there and like having to place my butt in the right spot and um then them strapping your arms down um they're not like super tight or anything and I think it's just so that way I I couldn't pull while I was under um and I didn't go completely under it was I can't remember it or anything but um it wasn't intubated or anything and um yeah, so after like 10 minutes of unpleasantry and pretty rough pain, I haven't had anything since. And um but mentally I'm having a hard time. Um I've been crying <clears throat> off and on for the last 2 days. And I think it's just like processing like um and I think because I don't feel physically bad, I just feel like I am, like I'm not suffering enough. Like, I don't, it's so weird, it's so weird to say, but, um, like, how do I explain that? Like, I, I know that there is no longer any tissue, um, or any, like, pregnancy products, <laughs> in inside of me anymore and that's fine like I that is that's a medical necessity like that needs to happen um I think part of it is I'm scared it's gonna happen again um Like, I, I know that this is a normal thing, a common thing, I should say, that happens. Oh, man. I just knew better than to get my hopes up. And I feel like it, I've, um, like, of course I'm just disappointed. And, um. Uh, feeling a little bit like a failure and then I'm upset because I'm upset and I know all of these like feelings are something they people feel these you know it's pretty common and most of the time I feel okay like okay it's just this was this is what happened this is the process in which to to fix it and normalize and then we go, we go about our lives and, and, you know, we continue another day. But, uh, I just am so scared that it's going to happen again or that I'm not going to enjoy a pregnancy or I'm not going to be able to get pregnant again or there's going to be complications or, I don't know, it just makes me so sad. And then the thought that, like, the the feeling of missing what could have been that sucks (sighs) 
you, uh, you know, when you find out you're pregnant, you start, like, immediately thinking of all the fun, cool things. <laughs> you know, I have, like, I have, like, name lists, and, um, um I have pictures and video of, like, us announcing to a few people, and, like, I gave people, or we gave people ornaments for Christmas, and, um, you know, you just start mentally preparing. And I'm so grateful that I was able to get pregnant, because I know a lot of people struggle with that part, you know, it's, I just feel so ungrateful. I feel, um, I feel un ungrateful and a little, um, maybe like a little jaded. It's like I feel bad for feeling bad. I don't want to be a... A downer for bed. I want to be strong and be able to say, you know, like, I know that it happened. It was a moment in time. And I think it's just because it's still fresh. I know that I'll eventually feel okay. And most times I do, like, really. This is the, probably, like, the first time I've really let myself be completely submerged in my emotions. <laughs> I look like a mess, oh well. Welcome to Tiffany. <laughs> I know I'm, I know it's okay to feel sad. I know it's okay to feel like emotionally drained and kind of empty. And I know that I know that I'll process this and we'll go we'll get through it and if I'm if if our determination is any indication of our success, then it'll happen, you know? And, um, I just hope that the next time I do get pregnant that everything goes well and I'll be able to enjoy it. Maybe after, like, the first trimester I'll, I'll be a little bit more comfortable. But, um, I'm, I know that it sounds so stupid, but, like, I am excited for, for the future. Um, it just is also incredibly terrifying. Just knowing that this can happen, you know, at any moment. I mean, thank God I am not religious at all. It's just a, a phrase, but, like, I'm so glad and grateful that the miscarriage happened so early on. Um, because if I feel like this... At this point, I cannot fathom, and I would never wish it on anyone, to have to go through this at 12 weeks, at 20 weeks, at 30 weeks, at delivering um, stillborn, or, you know, being able to, to only have your child here for a very short amount of time, and, uh, I'm glad that it it happened when it did, um, because I think mentally I would have been even more broken if I would have gotten more attached. I think that goes without saying, you know, the longer you the longer you're pregnant, the more attached you get. That's just how that works. But um, it's just so weird that one moment you're planning and preparing and like so excited and looking at your pregnancy apps and 
it's constantly what you want to talk about to um to being this this thought that you try and like push out of your head and dissociate from because it causes you like it causes you pain it causes you pain to think about it and now I'm like I'm certainly not going to be deleting the footage that I have of this pregnancy I I am um, I want that maybe not right now I don't want to look at it right now I don't I don't want to revisit this video anytime soon but um it's there's some catharsis in it I think and I think that seeing this and seeing the process and knowing knowing how determined we are to to grow our family I think it'll just make the pregnancy that we do have and get to experience and the trial we do get to have it's going to make it just a little bit better easier I don't I don't know like we've gone through this and it's not replacing you know nothing will replace this pregnancy but being able to get pregnant and have a baby like I think it'll make it easier to see and worth it to see all of this um, It's funny, I'm, I, like, I'm already feeling better. I think sometimes I just try and hold my uh, emotions in and hold them in and hold them in. Like, don't let anyone see. And myself, too. Like, I don't, I don't like dealing with, obviously, sad emotions. <laughs> no one does, but um, just kind of getting it out and realizing and hearing myself say some of this is, like, I know that I know that what I'm going through is normal and what I'm feeling is normal and everyone's normal's different but this is not out of the realm of like what a lot of people go through and I'm sad but I'm hopeful and I'm scared and I'm determined and um a rough start to 2019 but this is not going to define me or Ben or us and um, we'll get through it I mean we've gotten through what 15 years almost of other stuff like this is just a moment in time it's a hard one don't get me wrong <laughs> it's a hard one but um, it'll it'll all be okay and it'll work out <sighs> pretty lucky to have Ben. He's a pain in my ass. Oh my god, don't get me wrong. But I think he <laughs> I think he's just trying to um, be my support and validate how I feel and tell me that it's okay and like just reaffirm everything that I've said. And in the moment, maybe I don't want to hear it, but I do agree. stream of consciousness people are going to be like what the fuck are you talking about I think I'm going to move the footage off of my phone to I don't know Google or something just have it in a space that I can have it and uh, when I'm ready I can kind of look back on it and oh yeah, I just, I, I don't want to pretend that it didn't happen, and I think that's why I'm, I'm feeling sad about the procedure. I'm so glad it went well, I really am, but it's like, it was over, that's, that's done. I don't know, grief is weird, and who knows. Well, now I just need the redness to go away, I'm done crying, but... It'll look like I've been crying for hours and hours. So I'm sure I'm going to go downstairs and Ben's going to be like, Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> I wasn't 15 minutes ago, but I am now. <sighs> you just pick up and keep going, right? That's how the world works. That's how life works. Mm. 
Well, this was probably riveting and depressing, and I'm sorry, but just wanted to let you know how I'm doing. And the answer is I really am doing okay. I have moments of sadness that I just need to, like, process, but... Excited for the future, and excited to get back to back to normal, you know, like not having this be the center of my attention every moment, and you know, I'm starting a class soon for um, HR, I'm excited about that, we're moving and shaking some bills stuff and getting things paid off, um, trying to get the house paid off, got some work done on the car, like, things are doing fine, really they are, they're actually, they're, I'm, we're doing really well, comparatively. It's a loud car. Did you hear that? <laughs> Alright, guys. Procedure went okay. Went really good. Feelings. Comes in waves. I'll let you know if anything else happens, but, um, I think this is probably it. Um, maybe after my appointment on Thursday I'll let you know, but, and I might do another video just to give you more on, like, the technical side of the DNC. Um, the procedure itself is very easy, and I would, I would absolutely recommend it if, um, if you want it to be over quickly, um, it's going to be much more expensive than the other options, but we can kind of go into that at a later date. But, um, okay, well, I'm done rambling, and I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.